Hello again, friends. Welcome back. My name is Oscar Montesiga. We are at the Booz Library here at Ron Cork Vintage Academia. I'm your host. I'm a certified wine and spirits instructor for the International Wine and Spirits Guild and a master of Agave Spirits for the Agave Spirits Institute. Today, I bring you a cocktail originally created for the Agave Spirits Institute as part of our um, original cocktails for the curriculum and the program for the Master of Agave Spirits Diploma. And, um, you know, just yesterday we had a group of students in Oaxaca um, finish their their diploma program for their Master of Agave Spirits title. So congrats, well done. Uh, uh, I know you've had a long week and uh, you experienced a lot in a short time, a lot in the world of um, agave and agave culture, mezcal and mezcal culture, and you know, ranging from art, history, anthropology, um, gastronomy, um, of course, mixology. So this cocktail was created for you, and I hope you got to try it, or you get to try it and re you know, duplicate it, make it at home. Please let me know your thoughts. Please um, comment if you've had the cocktail or made it, and um, hit like or subscribe to the channel if you haven't, please. Um, I'll appreciate it. That way you can stay tuned to your next cocktail or um, evaluation. So today I'm going to bring you a cocktail um, created for the Agave Spirits Institute. It's called the Chihuahua Cherry Sour. And hello Veronica, if you're watching, my sister in Chihuahua, she would actually say the Chihuahua Cherry Sour. So today I bring you the Chihuahua Cherry Sour. Um, really, uh, you know, you build it uh, in the same way as you would any other basic sour as far as a cocktail goes. Um, but let's get started. You will need a little bit of amaretto liqueur, which is a liqueur flavor typically or thought of as an almond liqueur. Uh, but depending on the family recipe, they could be using almonds or they could be using uh, apricot kernel or they could be blending or mixing apricot kernel and almond uh, to make their liqueur. You're gonna need some cherry syrup. Um, find if you make your own or if you have something available commercially and you find a, a nice cherry liqueur or sorry cher cherry syrup or a brandy cherry syrup uh, that would work um, a little bit of sotol of course that is the base of the cocktail um, sotol you don't mind mixing um, I'm using today chihuahua um, as in the chihuahua their their single barrel añejo you will need a handful of cherries fresh cherries lemon and of course the white of an egg and I'm gonna start there just to um, break the egg separate the white and make sure I can separate it properly so there you go I have my yellow and my white separated All right, so that went into my shaker. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna switch this here so you can see, I'm gonna need, from the amaretto liqueur, we're gonna need a nice. of amaretto. Uh, for your sotol you want uh, one ounce and a half. And if you want to use a white sotol or an H sotol that's really up to you based on the flavor characteristics you want to give the cocktail. Uh, you can try it both ways. You know make yourself two cocktails at one time just to see how you like it. Uh, next, I'm going to use really just a bar spoon of the cherry syrup. And that's really just the sugar base for this cocktail. I'm not using any simple syrup or any sugar cubes. Um, but I want that sugar to have some flavor. So obviously there's sugar in the amaretto, but I want a little more than that. And... 
uh, of course your lemon juice before I express the lemon I'm gonna go around the whole lemon I'm gonna take um, the lemon peel so I can use it if I want to as a garnish and you don't have to um, but you may want to and nice and long you know just depending on how many drinks you're making and how many lemons you've got right so you want um, an ounce of a lemon and that half only gave me about three quarters of an ounce so basically I need the half plus plus then some to create a full ounce um, you know if you don't mind the lemon you can use your whole lemon you don't have to be following the strict um, guideline for the wet ingredients so all the wet ingredients are there. I have amaretto liqueur, the cherry syrup, uh, the sotol, the egg white, the lemon. I'm gonna give this a quick shake. Just to create some foam and cook that egg or denature it. Basically, it's been denatured by the nature of the alcohol itself, and of course, part of that sugar. Uh, but mostly, is the alcohol uh, denaturing the the egg white. So that creates some foam. I'm gonna keep my wet ingredients and that foam on the top of my shaker because what I'm gonna do next is, you know, those pretty, pretty cherries. Um, you're gonna need about five, six. You know, grab a handful. Uh, the cherries I have have been pitted so there's no longer a pit in them put them into your shaker and muddle them so you're gonna press those cherries again five or six without the seed or the pit and you just want those juices express those juices get the skins If you don't have fresh cherries then you may want to use branded cherries, uh, a nice quality uh, maraschino cherry or a, a dark cherry in its own um, juices, syrup or, or branded um, drunk cherries basically. Again if you don't have fresh ones. Uh, now that the cherries are muddled, I will combine wet ingredients with the cherries and lastly um, ice. So let's put some ice here. And by the way, you're gonna need a glass, um, typically a, a, a rocks glass, short glass, um, with a fresh ice because we will strain this cocktail. All right, and you want to shake to wake it up. You don't want to put it to sleep. Should be cold enough and nice and frothy again oh yeah it is so double strain into a fresh rocks glass and again this is being double strain because there's a lot of cherry in there right a lot of cherry pulp so to speak um, and we're not making a smash or, or a cobbler you don't want fruit hanging out there if you do, then you're kind of making a 
um, a smash or a cobbler. You're not making necessarily a, a straight sour. Beautiful, flavorful, juicy. Alright. Finally, to garnish, either you will grab your lemon twist, you could express the whole thing, give it a contrast between the red cherry and the yellow color. Uh, but what I'm gonna do uh, is do a cherry flag. So grab a skewer or a mini sword and basically I'm gonna go through the lemon first, then the cherry, then the lemon again, then another cherry. And I went too deep, so let's try that again. So lemon, your line, um, cherry. <laughs> Then another cherry, and then lemon again, and there you go. It's it's a twisted uh, S for the lemon. Basically, you have cherries um, poking through. You can expand that, and basically that's a, what we call the cherry flag. And sit that on top. So it lets your guest or friend's patron know what's in the drink. There's lemon. There's cherries, right? There's a few more things. It is a soto drink. It has a little bit of amaretto, almond, um, slash apricot kernel. Um, and of course, egg. And look at that foam. You can see how that's separated. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, hit like and subscribe if you haven't. And let me know what you think about this cocktail if you make it. The Chihuahua Cherry Sour with Sotol. And if you don't know much about Sotol, cheers. Um, watch the last video we talk about Sotol and goodness it's, you will be so delighted with this drink um, it's so highly aromatic and it's just based on the fresh fruit fresh fruit elevates any cocktail really and any food that we eat because you're getting the raw material the raw sense of nature while you're drinking um, that is a good indication of a uh, craft cocktail, a craft cocktail bar, a craft bartender. Um, so I think you will be very pleased with this cocktail. Again, skip the egg white if you don't have it. Uh, substitute brandy cherries if you don't have access to fresh cherries. Again, you can make your own cherry syrup or something that you bought. Uh, but have fun with the cocktail. Please play, play along. Let me know what you think. Beautiful aromatics cherry lemon the texture is so creamy um, the amaretto which has a sort of a floral blossom influence uh, as well is there um, cheers amigos thanks for watching again the uh, master agave spirits um, uh, diploma uh, students congrats to you and catch you next time chin chin